Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. As the Halloween holiday nears, the city of Williamson recently announced that trick-or-treat times will be different from Mingo County. Wednesday, we spoke with Williamson Mayor Charlie Hatfield about the recent change. Normally, the city and the county here, Williamson and uh, Mingo County respectively, usually uh, have Halloween trick-or-treat night, same night. Um, in an earlier decision, the commission uh, opted to have Halloween trick-or-treat on Saturday the 30th. And um, I, I proposed, and the council has assured me they probably will agree we're having a meeting Thursday to confirm and make it official. But uh, the city of Williamson will have trick-or-treat on Thursday the 28th. Tentatively, the time is from uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Hatfield says the change comes as families typically like to hold trick-or-treat on weeknights as opposed to weekends, and that the city holds to plan Spookfest the same weekend. We have a lot going on here in Williamson on the 30th. Uh, we have our Spookfest uh, uh, activity and festival, with, which goes from one end of the town to the other. So it would just be too much confusion and everything. Uh, Trick-or-treaters out, takes away from one thing to another. And you know, you have to consider small children out here in traffic and all these other things, and it, it's just better. In the wake of Spookfest 2020 and the decline of COVID-19 cases, Hatfield adds that they're happy to return to some level of normalcy. Kind of fun, we forgot almost how to do it. <laughs> so we're looking forward to it, and it's all about the kids. And you know, in the town, you may not get the shots here, but uh, our town through uh, local uh, volunteerism has put a lot of things out to display, not just for trick or treat, but for the fall season that we have. We have beautiful banners hanging up as flags in our city, uh, fodder shock. Uh, you'll see all kinds of things throughout the town. People are kind of think they're really excited about it. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.